Spinks. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh... Lo Lois, uh, let me in. You okay? Yeah, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm sorry. I was thinking. Okay. What can I do for you? Uh, I'm looking for Natalie. She left me a message, said it was urgent. Okay. This is it, Liam. We are going to tell John that he is your daddy. Yeah. yeah. John? It's Natalie. John? John, it's Natalie. Hello? Natalie's not here. Um, do you know what she wanted? Uh, is she working on a case for you or something? No. Oh. It's probably nothing. Well, I doubt it. She doesn't usually say it's urgent if it isn't. She has Liam with her. Maybe she went to find you. Yeah, you know, I'll, I'll give her a call. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll swing by the, the hotel. Thank you. John. I know that Natalie hurt you very deeply, and I realize it's none of my business, but she still loves you so much. Please, just treat her gently, would you? Okay, your daddy's definitely not in the bedroom. Okay. Note. This is not John's handwriting. Up on the roof. John wouldn't take Kelly up on the roof, would he? That's our place. But it doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter because we're gonna be up there with him very, very soon. Just as soon as I tell John that you are his son. That's right. That's right. Let's go find out. What are you doing here, Marty? I'm waiting for John. We're having dinner. And you're not invited. It's too bad. We're staying. No, this is a very important dinner. An evening for John and me. We're, we're celebrating. Mm. Yes, I can see that. And what's the special occasion? Full moon? No, John and I are back together. And I will not let you ruin this. Actually, I think John will be very happy to see us. No, John has moved on when you climbed into bed with Brody and had his child. Only I didn't have Brody's child, did I, Marty? I had John's. Just let Natalie know I came by. I'm sorry, I don't know what you mean. Liam's paternity results, the one you were carrying around in your purse. You know, I have some crudités to prepare. Now I understand why you laughed at me when I ripped them up, because that was the original. The one that showed John is actually Liam's father. Your delusion. Well, right back at you, Marty, but luckily, you spilled it all to your shrink. I can live with what I've done, and so can John and Natalie. John will never know that Liam is his son. It's over, Marty. You're done. You stole the tape from my therapy session? That violates patient confidentiality. I could bring you up on charges. And what do you think the court's gonna do when they find out you altered DNA results? What do you think John's gonna do? John is no longer your concern. He's mine. Oh, right, yeah. So why is he off with Kelly? 
<laughs> Kelly is no longer an issue. Time's up, Natalie. I have a party to prepare, and I'm sure there's many things you need to get done at home. Actually, I'm gonna stay right here, Marty, and wait for John to show up, and then I'm gonna play him this tape. No, you can't do that. Watch me. What about Brody? What about him? He'll lose Liam. It'll, it'll kill him. He'll get through it, and I'll help him. Family, it means everything to Brody. He's just lost Jessica and Ryder, and now you're gonna have him lose Liam? He already went to St. Anne's when, when he kidnapped Shane Morosco. This will put him right back there. He's stronger than that. And you're willing to take that chance? Just leave things the way they are. You have Liam. You have Brody. You can keep him. Let me have John because I can make him happy. John doesn't love you, Marty. Yes, he does. We had dinner. Because he feels sorry for you. He feels bad about what happened with Cole. And, and he knows that you've been going through a hard time, so he, he's just being nice. That's it. And I am not gonna lie to John anymore. And I'm not gonna lie to Brody. Huh? Well, that's a shame. And again, you've always been rather selfish. He does so. Yes, it is. And now it's too late. I'll be here any minute. I need that wine to breathe, so let's just make this quick. This is John McBain, all right? I need a bus to my apartment at the Angel Square Hotel, all right? We have a woman. She's been stabbed. She has a pulse, but it's weak. Hurry. Hurry. Careful. Marty, you, you might cut yourself. Oh, don't worry about me. I'm, I'm actually really good with the knife. I did go to medical school. Okay, what, 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 why don't you just put it, put it down? Okay, okay, before someone gets hurt. Somebody's already been hurt. There's blood on that knife. Woo! Very observant. Who's... Whose blood is it, Marty? What'd you do? Uh, let's just say that Kelly was as uncooperative as you. Kelly? Well, where is, um... Where is she? Uh, with God, I, I, I would think. Which means I have nothing to lose. It's gonna be okay. And it's is on its way. All you gotta do is hang on. Right? Hey! There you are. Shh. Hey. I'm right here. I'm right here. What happened? Who did this to you? 